Hey guys, Amy here with Leap of Faith Crafting. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today I am going to do a quick tutorial for you. I am getting ready for my son's graduation and making a bunch of stuff. I'm just doing a videos on just a few of the things just to kind of show you how easy and quick something like this could be. So lip balms are inexpensive and make great, you know, party favors. It can be for graduation, wedding, bachelorette parties really anything. So I'm just going to show you how I made this label here, kiss my class goodbye, and then just personalized it. And then it added to these lip balms that I got a box of 50 of them, and I will link all this below. But I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore 3 and some printable vinyl. Um, you can use any of the Cricuts besides the Cr Cricut Joy. Um, to do this project, Cr Cricut Joy Extra would be fine. It has the print then cut feature to it because we are gonna be also using a printer and printing this out and then having our Cricut cut them out before we add them. Okay, so let's get into design space and start designing our lip balms. So I'm just gonna jump in and show you quickly how I designed these labels within Cricut Design Space. So, on the, and I'll drop these links below of the exact lip balm that I got, um, but within the lip balm, it actually has this picture of the label size. So it kind of shows you exactly what you would want to use for this specific label. So I just clicked on this, right clicked it, and saved the image. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And then within Cricut Design Space, just to show you, you can go to Upload, Upload an Image, Browse, and then click on that. And I'm going to hit Continue, reduce it to what this is so we can get our eraser. Actually, probably just be easier to crop. Okay, I can apply that and do a single layer and actually bring this in as here. It's just not real crisp on the edges. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a template. I'm not going to use it to cut it just because it has not real crisp edges on the corner, so I'm just going to redo the corners but I wanted to bring it in here as a size and as a model. And then I will show you real quick, let's just show you how to upload this part. So you have the reference there. We'll do the same thing and bring this in. I'm going to continue. And I'm just going to leave it like this. Click on the flat graphic. And click on upload. Okay, so that's how I got that image size in here. Okay, so I brought this in here so I can kind of see what it looks like and also have these dimensions here so I don't have to write them down. Okay, so now that I have both of them in here, I'm actually going to change this to the size of what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to do the height of 2.087. Which is what it tells me here. I'm going to actually unlock this and make that width there 2.165. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this part. This is the part that kind of conceal it if you want, but I am just going to use some shapes and just make this itself. So I'm just going to go into my shapes. I'm going to grab one of these that has the rounded corners and I'm just going to change it to the height here of what I have. So 2.087. And then I'm actually going to move in the side a little bit just because I want a straight edge on that side. 
so I'm going to go ahead and come over to my shapes and add a straight edged square. I'm going to make this size 2.087 so it is the same height. Okay, so I'm going to just using that back one as a guide there. So I'm going to put this, bring it to the front, just to make sure that that length is the same right there. Okay, so this is just to get that straight edge on the side. So then I'm just going to drag my cursor over both of them. I'm going to come up and align. We'll just do a line top. Okay, and then I'm going to come down to my combine here and actually unite these together so they become one. Okay, so now I can come in and so it should be 2.87, which it is on the height and the width. I am going to just make it just a smidge shorter just so it kind of lines up with that. It doesn't have to be exactly when you wrap it on the thing. It's going to be a little bit different. Okay, so now I have my thing here. Okay, so how I so I'm all done with these, so I can just delete those off if I want. So now on here, I'm going to change this to white, just so I have a white background. And then I just found the Kiss My Class Goodbye in Cricut Access. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go into Images. Okay, so Kiss My Class, I'm using this one right here. I'm going to add it to my canvas. We are going to drop that down. Okay, so then I just kind of sized it to here. Then I added a text to personalize it and just put in son's name and then you can change this to whatever font you want whatever font you want um, we can decrease the line space in there to make it closer together and the size and the color We'll change that to black. Okay, and then I just found um, in the images, I just kind of looked for um, kind of stars. If you want to add, you know, some extra st stuff around it. You know, you can do whatever you want to add any kind of stuff that you want around it. Okay, but then once I am set, I'm actually going to drag my cursor over all of this. I'm going to align center horizontally, make sure everything is good. And then I'm going to flatten this all together. Okay, so once it's flattened, it's going to turn into the print and cut. It's not going to cut anything around inside of it. Um, that's why you need to flatten anything that you're going to do the print and cut. Okay, so just to show you that's how I actually made the label itself. Okay, and then when I go to make it, I'm just going to up my Thing, so it looks like I can get 
12 on a sheet here. Okay, so I'm just going to do two sheets. So I'm going to bump it up to 24. We're going to hit continue. Okay, when I click send to the printer, I am going to leave the bleed on. I use my system dialog. And mine is the HP. And then I go into my preferences and change this to what I have my printer actually set up as, which is plain paper thick. And hit OK. And I'm just going to hit this up to number of copies as two, so it just prints one after the other. I am going to send this to my printer and put in my printable vinyl in there. Okay, so I have this all printed out on my printable vinyl, and then I'm just going to place it in that upper corner of a mat. And I always use my brayer to make sure it's nice and stuck down. And then we're going to load it in my Cricut and have it cut this out. Okay, so I have all my sheets, and then this is that box of the lip balm, and I will put a link this below what I'm using so you can see I've done some of them. So I'm just going to take it off and then just peel off those stickers. Okay, and then just kind of line it up with that bottom. Go around. Okay, and then I'm just going to go around and keep putting those on. So, fun and pretty quick and inexpensive party favor to make that the guest can actually use. So you see I have all of these made and then I'm just going to put them in a little container and then I made this cute little sign. I just got this from the Dollar Tree and cut this out of vinyl and put that on. And so those will all be next to it, each other. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and happy crafting everyone.